Hey guys and welcome to episode number 3 of the Hardcore Iron Man. We're starting off with a divination challenge which got it to 55. So that's kind of neat because I'm gonna get 2 energy each time I get uh, some memories from the memories of the divination. And we're gonna turn in as well a dungeoneering challenge which got me to 52 dungeoneering. So 2 level as well. That's really neat too. And yeah, this video came out a bit late because uh, it was my finals uh, uh, the week before. So now my semester is over, so I've got plenty of time to do some videos again. And here we're about to turn in another dungeon ring challenge as well. So we're gonna get two level this time again. So we're now up to 54 dungeon ring. That's really nice too. And here I am guys about to start the quest call of Family Crest because um, as you know guys I want to do the Swanson quest to catch monkfish and if I want to burn the less possible monkfish I'll have to have the cooking gauntlets and to have the cooking gauntlets you actually have to do the Family Crest quest so that's why I'm starting that one. So I'm gonna get back to you guys if anything specific happens. Okay guys, so here I am about to kill the demon of Family Quest, which uh, the only thing special about him is that you have to cast four of the elemental spells, four of each type, on him before you can you actually kill him. Otherwise, he's gonna heal back to full health. So I guess that's the only thing I was kind of afraid of, if we could say that I was afraid. But uh, as you can see, I'm clearly wrecking him, so there's no, you know, there's no real reasons to be afraid and at this point I kinda knew I was going to you know own him because uh, in the past episode I was afraid of a lot of things but uh, it did turn out to be quite easy so I just killed him like that and I got the qu the crest part so that was it nothing too uh, too uh, you know difficult here we go guys quest complete so one quest plan the family gauntlets and a choice to have a special abilities for the gauntlets and of course I'm gonna use the cooking abilities so let's get on with that hey guys so here we are in Gertrude's house and you have to talk to Caleb and you can ask him to you know enchant the gauntlets for you which I'm gonna do right away and uh, yeah it seems like it's gonna cost me something if I lose them but uh, I don't plan on doing that because I'm just gonna be cooking with them so that's nothing too dangerous here so yeah yeah you can now yes please do that for me and here we go he takes the gauntlets out of you and he actually ancient them so here I got myself some nice cooking gauntlets which are gonna be pretty useful in the future Oh, here we are about to start the Swangsung quest, guys, which has been, uh, you know, a long-term goal for quite some time now. And I think our next goals are going to be to get uh, almost, uh, you know, 50 in each skills and probably Legends quest too, uh, to get the requirements at least. That would be great. So here we are, guys, doing the Swangsung quest, and I'm about to kill the final boss of the quest. And... To be honest, I thought it would be really easy because, like I said in the previous clip, um, I'm kind of beginning to be used that, uh, you know, the bosses are more weak than I actually think they are. And I gotta admit, that one was kind of hard. I, I was always missing him. And I think I did eat, like, almost half my inventory of lobsters. And being in hardcore, I was actually afraid. I was kind of wondering if I was prepared to kill it because... Uh, yeah, like I said, I missed it a lot. Uh, it took me uh, like at least five minutes to kill him. So, yeah, if you want to do this, make sure you have a uh, decent gear because I was actually using T60 gear. So I would at least recommend to have that and to have, uh, you know, a full inventory of food because otherwise uh, you might get cracked. So yeah, anyway, I managed to kill it, and here we go, quest complete, so two quest points and a few experience and access to the colony to fish some monkfish. So that's going to be extremely useful. Uh, so the problem is that right now I cannot get the full health that uh, monkfish give, because you actually have to be 64 constitution. 
uh, to get the 160 uh, healings that uh, they actually give. So I'm gonna have to train a bit, but uh, they still give me more health and lobster at the moment. It's just that I have so much lobster, I would rather use that for now. But uh, once I'm gonna be uh, 64 constitution and I'm gonna do something that, uh, you know, requires me to uh, kill stuff that actually deal a lot of damage to me, so I'm gonna use that for sure. And here you can actually see me uh, fish some monkfish in the background. And you can see also the scenery, that's kinda nice. We can see uh, some islands out in the water with the NXT client. And yes, it's the Pirate's Cove and it is not in Jettis though that we can actually see if we look at the map. So I mean, that's kinda awesome. We never could have seen that in the Java client. So uh, I guess I'm gonna suck up on monkfish and then I'm gonna head on and do some other quests. And here we are about to finish the quest called Shield of Arev. And one tip I could give you guys if you cannot find a partner is to join the Team Quest friend chat. Uh, people are really kind in here. I asked for help and someone, uh, you know, became a partner right away. And you can also uh, go to World 100 uh, to actually get some help. So here we go, one quest point and 600 coins. So that's not really cool, but... Uh, I did that quest for one reason, and that is to do the Throne of Missalina quest. And here you can see me in the background doing some cooking, and here we go for a cooking level. So we just got 63 cooking, gonna be nice for the monkfish, gonna burn a little bit less, I guess. Getting some gains while stocking up on my monkfish, and here we go for 63 fishing. So I guess I'm gonna get the monkfish more rapidly a bit now. And oh guys, I'm such a noob. I'm actually doing Heroes Quest right now and I gotta have a mining level of 50 to do that and I'm actually 47 as you can see here. So I completely forgot that I did not have that level. So here I am doing one of the most boring things in the world, mining some iron. And at least I'm gonna get a level now, so I'm almost gonna get 48. And I think what I'm gonna do to get the two last levels is uh, that the actual um, troll monthly uh, resets in a few hours and I didn't do it yet so I think I'm gonna do that and put it in mining because I wouldn't even do it anyway so I'm gonna do that. So here we go guys I actually did the uh, troll invasion monthly so let's use that on mining and here we go we actually got the two levels we needed so we're now 50 mining and I can go back to doing heroes quest now which I am doing to eventually be able to do Throne of Miscellanea quest. And here is the fight against the Ice Queen. If anyone is, you know, interested to see how strong she is, she is actually quite, quite uh, not strong. I mean, I killed her pretty easily. Um, again, as well, you know, like all bosses are, you know, more weak than I actually think they are. I mean, she kind of eat me a bit, but, uh, and I missed her a bit too, but it wasn't all that hard. I mean, I killed her fairly easy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You kill her, you take uh, the ice gloves, and you get away. Simple as that. Pretty straightforward. And here is just a beautiful scenery where I'm trying to catch a lava hill. I'm probably gonna use that for the thumbnail because, uh, let's admit, that kind of looks awesome. I mean, it's not every day you see someone fishing a lava, right? And here I am turning in all the three items required to complete Hero's Quest. And there we go, quest complete, one quest point, access to the guild, and some experience and a bunch of skills, which got me no levels, unfortunately. And yeah, I mean, now I think we've got all the requirements to do Throne of Miscellanea quests. Uh, uh, let me look at that real quick. Uh, and uh, here is Throne of Miscellanea. So yes, I've got 35 Airblower, 45 Woodcutting, and I've done the two quests required. So let's go ahead and start that quest now. So here we all are, guys, to witness the ceremony of me becoming a king, the king of Miscellanea, that is. So here we go, quest complete, one quest point, and I will finally be able to get a lot of resources pretty easily. I mean, for an Iron Man, that is like a gold mine, that is just incredible. I'm gonna be able to, you know, get some stuff more easily. Uh, the only problem, though, it's gonna be to get some cash because I don't have any good way to get some right now but uh, what I'm gonna do for now is put everyone on wood uh, to get some maple logs 
because uh, I will be able to, to do, able to do some fletching with that and fire making if I ever need to do so. And I'm gonna get some bird nests as well. So yeah, that would be kind of useful for the seeds and the crush nest. So let's put 300k in the coffers, and I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna have to find a way to make uh, at least 50k per day. Um, we're gonna see about that. And my character seems to be kind of glitchy here. He's floating on the carpet. <laughs> I don't really know what this is about. I mean, it's probably a bug related to NXT because... Look, if I get off... Yeah. <laughs> okay, a little bug here. <laughs> Nothing too shabby. And here I am with my Sliskayan lamp. And we put that in agility, of course, because who wants to train that, right? So here we go for 50 agility kind of nice too I mean it's getting up and I'm not training it so I'm not complaining I won't ever complain with that and there we go for another statue and this one is gonna get us a construction level so here we go for 47 construction it's getting up it's getting up I'll guess I try to get it up to 50 like all my other skills to you know be able to get the 50 milestone cape and oh here we go for 50 prayer as well so we're heading towards that and oh it seems like we're almost 1400 red total level so I guess I'm gonna try to get that by the end of the video so here we go guys for another statue and this one is gonna get us 48 construction so that is awesome let's pray to the statue to see if we're gonna get a prayer level as well I don't think we're gonna, but, uh, and, oh yes, indeed, we're not gonna get a level. So, I think that was the last statue, so that's about it for this monthly. And it's been one day since I did the Throne of Miscellany quest, and here's the loot for one day. So, 300 logs on one day, I'm not gonna complain with that, like, ever. And that means that uh, by the end of the week, I should be able to get... Uh, approximately at least 200, uh, 2000 uh, logs I mean and the reason I'm not doing royal, royal trouble for now is because uh, it will cost me 74, 75k per day and I'm having trouble to get 50k per day right now so I'm not gonna do that for the moment and here we go guys for a fletching level so here is level 47 and I got that with my maple log so that's kinda nice and here I am, I alking a big part of my loot tab that I got from Slayer because I have only 100 coins left, so I figured that would be a good thing to do. So I think I'm gonna be able to get uh, some decent cash with this, and uh, we're gonna go and see how much cash I'm gonna be able to get. And since I now have the Zamorak staff, I'm gonna be alking all these staffs here, which is the air battle staff, which is almost 10k. Uh, the Mystic Earth Staff, which is, oh my, 25k, that's going to be extremely useful, and Ibind Staff, which is also 25k, and I'm betting this one is as well, yes, so, I mean, that's almost 80k, I mean, it's 85k, and, oh yes, this is 48k, I mean, that's kind of nice too, but uh, it's my weapon I currently use right now, so I'm not gonna, you know, i that, so let's go ahead and make some decent gains on my money. And that will probably all go into my kingdom. And here we go, we finished that with 158k. So I went to a bunch of different NPC stores and I got myself a bunch of feathers. And with that I was able to get myself 48 fletching. So making some progress toward 50 as well. Because I want to get at least 50 in all skills. But that is probably going to be in the next episode. And in this clip, uh, you can see that I did again the troll invasion because it was a monthly reset. And here we go for 51 Herblow, which also got me the nice, oh yes, 1400 milestones. So, yes, that's quite an, ac an accomplishment for an Alcor Iron Man, at least I think. I mean, it's true that I am really careful, but still. And here is my stack of monkfish guys, and you can actually see that it gives only 140 and 75 uh, health back. And you can actually see that it's yellow as well, and lobsters is green and it's 1200. So that means that I cannot use the full potential of uh, how much health uh, monkfish can actually give, because I'm not 64 constitution. 
But uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. Uh, I want to thank all of you who actually watch. And please leave a like if you actually like the video. And please subscribe if you like uh, my content and you want to see more. And don't forget to leave any comments if you want to say something about the video, if you liked it, and anything at all, any feedback actually. So I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.